All right, guys, today I'm going to take you through a quick sled workout. Uh, it's a great workout for conditioning, for developing some speed and uh, strip power endurance for sprinting or stuff like that. Uh, you just need a couple hundred feet of grass or turf or something that you can pull the sled on without damaging the sled. And the sled's like 20 bucks. It's pretty cheap. I think I got mine at Walmart. And I just got string on it. I got a little like uh, karate belt or something tied onto it, just double knotted. So that works pretty slick. I do have like a shoulder harness system that you put on, but this one just slides on so much easier right over your waist. You can take it off quick. You can put it sideways on your waist and do like shuffles, which I'm going to show you in the video. Or you can put it around your foot to do some high knee stuff. So uh, it's really not expensive to get this. Just get a sled from somewhere. Get something to tie it around yourself and then some sand or whatever extra free weights or something you got laying around. Um, probably anything over 50 pounds would be good for starting for sprinting and in like 100 to 150 if you're advanced. Uh, certain weights you want for certain applications. If you're really working on speed you want a little bit lighter weight and if you're working on more strength or whatever starting strength out of the blocks you want a little bit heavier weight. So when you're starting with a sprint on this too, you want to get into a good three point stance with a forward lean. You don't want to start just standing straight up because to, to break through that inertia, and get your momentum going, a lot of strain on the hamstrings if you're standing straight up. So make sure you get a good forward lean, you get your shin more pushed forward, I guess. I don't know. I don't know exactly what I'm trying to say here. I'll get a better camera angle to show you here. All right, so when you're doing your sprints, you want to be in a stance like this. I usually go three-point stance, so you see I'm not, I'm not flat on my heels. I'm up on my forefoot. My shin is past my toes, so I'm using a lot more quads to get the momentum going for the push-off. If you're going straight up and down like this, your quad is only going upwards because your shin angle isn't forwards. So it's like all dependent on your hamstring to pull forward and create that momentum, which is a good way to strain a hamstring. So just remember that when you're starting with this, uh, progress slowly and yeah, it's a great workout for conditioning and it's a lot of fun too. It's just something to mix up your training. So hope you enjoy.